missed one here in game one. I was just going to comment how that's the only button we've used so far today. <laughs> yeah, just about. Just about. Would you like to take us in, All right. Sure thing here. As we take a look at Warrior's Path, i got to get the camera put right there. We go. All right. Team Green on the north end of the map. This is Resin bringing a battleship list lineup. We're going to see a lot of this over the course of the event. We've got double mm -hmm. Brisbane, Castilla, double Goliath. A little surprised at that, but only a two destroyer lineup here. Elbing and Lushun. We're seeing a very different take on team lineups out of both NA teams, Zaf, than we just saw out of the Chinese teams. I'm taking a quick look at builds. It is a and unique upgrade uh, Elbing, but I'm not seeing mm -hmm. anything else that really kind of I find very shocking. No, um, this setup, I would say, is a very flexible one. Uh, double Brizzy's mm -hmm. double Goliath means you can kite away on both flanks and, and set up for that. Um, and then Castilla is basically your cruiser killer and, yep. you know, whatever. So let's go take a look. I believe, at we, this. Are, I believe we are restarting, Zath. Everyone is stopping. Looks like we right. had to call a restart here. And yep. you would be correct. That would be a correct. So we'll push this button, guys. We'll be back to that game in a minute. Looks like we had a disconnect or something. So give us a minute. We'll, we'll restart the game shortly and we'll try again. Yeah, this is the this is kind of standard, I guess you could say, for um, for tournaments. Uh, when you have somebody that disconnects, you're allowed to restart within the first couple mm -hmm. of minutes of the tournament. Um, and so that's that's what happened here. So yep, nothing to see here. Had a game crash. <laughs> Had a game crash. Totally a thing. <laughs> Happens all the time. Let's say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm hmm Absolutely. And it looks like somebody from Bonks did indeed crash. All right, so oh. um, while we've got a brief moment, guys, on my stream, I'm just gonna, I said this at the top of the stream, but we've had a lot of folks join since then, so I'm going to say it again mm -hmm. real briefly. If you are interested in loot today, uh, of course, we have the drops running here during the event, but Correct. we're gaming does have has given us some codes to give out i'm also going into my cc codes because i have a tremendous backlog to get work through um we are giving away i'm doing my giveaways now instead of doing them in twitch chat i'm doing them on discord so the discord link you see pinned in twitch um click that it's going to take you to my discord there is a giveaways channel when there is not a game on the screen basically as, as soon as a game ends on stream we are basically starting a giveaway in that channel. That giveaway runs about five minutes or so. And then you're going to pull some names. My mods are handing out loot. They're just codes for a variety of things. Yep. I will not. I'm not going to tell you what it is. It's just free stuff, guys. So if you would mm -hmm. like some free stuff, come on by my discord. And in between games, when a game ends on screen, pop over there, have a look, enter the giveaway. And the same thing is happening over on my channel, although we're just doing it on the Twitch side of things, so you can check out the Twitch side. Um, I've got my mod, Puddin, taking care of giveaways. Thank you, Puddin, for doing that. And the real big brain is, go watch both of our channels. Go get in both of our chances for, getaway, uh, for giveaways. Double your options. Like, seriously, come big on. Brain um, big brain, please. Get, <laughs> get all the stuff. Get all the stuff. Look, please take Wargaming's free stuff. Please. <laughs> yes, exactly. And I'm, I'm always a big... Uh, fan of giving out that free stuff so exactly um, let's uh let's try this again shall we all right resin versus bonks game number two or i should say try number two yes all Electric right now boogaloo. of course when we have a, when we have a restart like this guys you cannot change lineups so we're looking at the exact same thing we just saw we're looking at double brisbane castilla double goliath elbing and lushun for resin here in the green along the top of the map Looking yep. over builds, the only thing that I kind of that kind of went maybe go hmm okay, uh, big boys Elbing here running unique upgrade, just about everybody else more or less kind of what you would expect. Oh, I will say, uh, Big Six TV's Brisbane is actually a bit of a torpedo build versus mm -hmm. Peyton's Brisbane is really not. What do you mm -hmm. got on the south end of the map, Seth? Well, I want to comment, too. When you do the restart, that doesn't uh, guarantee that your ship will spawn in the same position. Hungry as Castilla, Correct. for example, is spawned at a different spot. Um, Correct. And as far as Elbing, I, honestly, from when I did a, I did a replay uh, review recently for Grunty, who was running the unique upgrade Elbing, and I, I kind of want to buy that and try it because it, it looks hella fun compared to a standard. I have been playing that. Grunty got me to buy one. It is really neat. Give it a shot. Yeah. All right, so uh, to the south, Bonks is bringing with them a Delny that's currently heading towards the A cap. Um, and it looks like Satori Maru maybe was listening when I said my joke of, hey, just, just bring a Janan because 
There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Now, in order to do that, they paid the price so they could bring some maybe more powerful ships. For example, they have Addy in the defense. This is our first time seeing a defense in uh, in this game, and it's worth 13 points, along with D Squarius' Henri and Battleship Nagato. So I'm pretty sure that's Nagato in a small end heading into the sea cap, along with Admiral Tester next, and another Henri for Maxim Han Han Han. We also have Kermit Seppuku in a Brigand. So they have three fire starting ships all heading towards the 910 line. I wonder what's about yep. to happen in, uh, oh, about five minutes from now. Bonks has got a whole lot of Han 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 in their sea cap there, as Resin has opted for a little more traditional 4 3 split. Double mm. Brisbane, Castilla, Elbing headed north of A. Goliath, double Goliath, Lucian headed to B. Those Goliaths, remember, don't get anywhere very quickly. So I suspect they are basically there to, to just hold the line and keep the opposing team out of the B cap while the A flank does its thing. Well, that's kind Tell of what me, I was mentioning. To before the uh, before the restart, you know, having a Goliath and and Brisbane on each flank gives a, that flexibility. But if you look at it, they've actually done the opposite. They put both Brizzies together for the constant 12 kilometer radar savagery, and then on the other side, they've put both Goliaths together because it's really hard to push two Goliaths. Speaking of 12 kilometer radar, mm -hmm. one already going up here to push the Delny out of the A cap. Cookie deciding, nope, I was going to dive this island. It's not worth it because he and the Janan are basically here to kind of, much like the Goliaths at the B-cap, sort of hold the line. Yep. Now, the irony is he could have dove into the A-cap, got it, but he would have been probably dead. He probably would have been stuck after there. After a right? certain amount of time, exactly. Yeah, probably would have been stuck there. Choosing to preserve his ship and surrender the cap, probably the right play here, certainly, with the game barely underway here, only three minutes gone. Now... This big bonk speedy push here. I'm wondering how far east they're going to go before they turn north, Sath. Where's your money? Um, I'm sorry. Can you repeat that question? I was just double checking something. So this bonk's push that's pushing east. Yeah. When do you think they'll make the turn to go north? Will they go all the way to the 10 line? Will they push up the 9 line? Or will they push well, up the 8 line? Well, it's already so too late you, for the 8 line. When you've got four ships, you spread them out one grid square apart. So you can see Addy's defense is turning into a defensive position ha, uh, where he can start pushing up. Seppuku is already starting to turn in a little bit, and they're going to wait until the two Henri's get to the flank. Uh, my guess is the Squarius is going to turn up and go behind that big island on the 910 line, and um, Admiral Tester is going to go all the way to the extreme flank. That being said, Tester's already turned north, so they might be flipping that idea, and they're going to have the Squarius go all the way to the flank. That'll take some Feels extra time for them to set up, though. Yep. Bonks' game definitely hinges on this push working for them. They don't mm. really have that. I'm not sure. Well, I say they don't have an opportunity. I'm, I'm making an assumption with 16 minutes on the clock. But my suspicion is they won't have an opportunity call an audible like we saw RB do earlier in the day. No, this is an all or nothing decision. Elbing, big, boys, big boy is going to take a torpedo. Take a torp no, oh! desync. Was that desync, you think? <laughs> Probably. That's wild. Now, I will say Addy's defense crawling up the seven line does surprise me a little bit. And why is but that? I think I, but I think I like the play. Well, you mentioned it earlier. Kind of set up at sea, looking like, okay, we're going to hold the line. We don't really know where they're, what they're doing, what, where they're going, what they're doing just yet. And I'd say that's probably still valid. But I like this play because it gives them extra angles on whatever they're running, they run into north of here. For example, right. they caught eyes on Mad Dog. The small mm -hmm. radar picking, you know, picked him up for a little bit there. Mm -hmm. He's going to take a little bit of damage, probably nothing catastrophic. Mm -hmm. So the big thing about the defense is you absolutely have to play it next to an island, and you have to ensure that you can only be shot at from one angle. Addy also using the smoke. This is a very smart play. Look at this. He's going to smoke. He's going to fire at FIVA, who thinks he's safe right now in a Goliath. And he's showing pretty good side. Watch this. Yeah, pretty good angle. Nothing much out of that one. Does take a decent salvo out of the Burgonia AP, I think, right there. How big are defenses guns, Zaf? They're very good. You, no, no, not good. How big are they? What's the caliber? Do you remember? Oh. Uh, God. Off the top of my head, no, but I can look it up real quick. Okay. It's not that critical. Just curious. Small and driving hard for the cap. They have no way to prevent it at this point. They're rotating one of the Brisbane's back. That's big six. 
they bringing are his 12 kilometer radar back. They are 356 millimeter. I mean, it's perfect okay. for killing cruisers. Frankly, oh, yeah, that's she's what a cruiser you do. killer for sure. Mm hmm. Now, I got to say, double Goliath versus Burgonia, that can't be a very uncomfortable place to be as a French battleship. Well, and that's why you can see Seppuku is actually hanging pretty far back compared to the Henri's. Two deepwater torps into testers Henri over here. Brilliant salvo from Mad Dog's Lucian. Yeah, I saw the torpedoes coming, um, but I was really curious about if you're going to have a ship in the lead, it needs to have hydro running. Now, Tester had hydro running. It's on cooldown now. So you can see that he's stopping and slowing down. That's going to allow Desquarius to take the lead. All the fire going in on Faber. They're trying to focus him out before his next super heal comes up. He's got about 35 seconds. Mm -hmm. And that's absolutely Nagato's, how you have to do it. Yep. Nagato small and steps onto the cap, drawing out the Brisbane radar. Let's see how this works. How do they call the fire here? Obviously, the Brisbane going in on the small one. The Lushun lights himself up going in on the small one, as well as the Castilla. Yep. Is yeah, he, the Castilla. he has an opportunity to use Castilla's funny button. Yep, Castilla rotated around, and there goes the Goliath. They, yep, they do get Fava's Goliath. Here comes the funny button from the Castilla, Zath. Mm-hmm. Not as big as they probably wanted. No. Small no. one's going to sneak away here. Takes a big chunk yep. of damage, but he does manage to live through it. Smallin's got the ability to have this special boost that's that's more powerful than your standard engine boost. And so it, yep. it makes it very easy to, to get out of dodge quickly if you need to. Also to dodge incoming fire. Well, now you can see Desquarius. Sorry, what? Go ahead. No, no, go for it. I was going to say, Desquarius has taken the lead now in the Henri. This is how you properly rotate ships. We see we see a lot of teams uh, struggle with this in tournaments because there's just so much going on. But you absolutely need to be able to rotate your ships to extend your health pools. So Desquarius now coming up on the line and allowing Tedster, or Tester to stay in the backfield, but still in range to have his guns heard on the Goliath. Eagle Lance's Goliath, the last survivor here at the top of the board, as his other compatriot Goliath has bought the farm. Mm hmm. Extinguishing what looked to be a triple fire right there. And that's why you bring the Henri's. You see the DCP, you pop your, your uh, reload booster. Tester has his reload booster ready. He's not using it just yet. I think we'll see that come up soon, though. Resin managing to defend the B cap for now, but goodness gracious, a tremendous amount of pressure. Mm hmm. Henri AP going downrange on Hungry as Castilla. Here comes a Burgonia AP salvo. Nope. Nothing doing. Eagle Lance Small is on a sticky fire. Up. Castilla shots on this Yep. I don't think he's, I think he's going to dodge a chunk of that. Hmm? Well, it wasn't bad. <laughs> That's not a bad hit, actually. <laughs> Meanwhile, Brisbane torpedoes take out Nagato Smallend. Oh, that's a huge kill. That takes away the cap yes. threat now. Yes, I, and I, the radar I, I, and all that. Yeah, yeah. The torpedo the torpedo cruiser configuration paying off there for big six. Mm -hmm. Resin now a minute 20 away from winning the game. They've bent at Bravo, but they have not broken. Bonks right. looking like they're going to shove the Burgonia in the cap. Remember, Brisbane torpedoes are 13 and a half kilometer range. And there goes Cookies Delny over by the A side. So Janan's by himself. And we got 30 seconds no, until... The, I was going to say, if the Delny's gone, the game is almost over. 30 seconds here mm -hmm. for Bonks to make a play happen. Kermit is going to get into the cap. That's going to buy them a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. it, but it's going to buy them 20 more seconds. So we're back to a 30-second timer. Resin continuing to tick up A. Addy changing his positioning. He's going to try to get behind Hungry as Castilla because he's stuck sitting there. Is yeah. he going to have enough, have enough time to do that, though? I don't, I don't think he... Well, I don't know. It's going to be can. close. I think, I think he, he can, can, actually. It's going to be very, very, very close. Ten seconds. He's only going to get one salvo. It's got to count. Seven seconds. Three, Three. seconds. He's not going to get it. Got to fire now. Oh, he no, gets he it. Don't. He gets it. Barely squeaks it in under the wire there. That's a time extension for Bonks. We're back to yeah. a minute 15. Yeah, great kill for Bonks right there. Brilliant kill for Bonks, saving the game for them. They are going to grab B, but at this oh. point, if you're resin, all you have to do is retreat and not lose a ship. How's Eagle Lance doing? He's got a heal in the bank, and it's ready to go when he needs it. Look at how low 
Satori Maru's Junan is. 1,000 hit we, points. We really didn't look much at this side of the map, but clearly Payton and Big Boy's Elbing just did work over here, Zaf. Well, I mean, you, you're talking about one ship that's got deep water torpedoes versus, you know, a ship that's got hydro and destroyers. So. Yeah. Like, that, they, they clearly knew their business. I feel... I feel like we have to go back and watch that. Uh, I, I mean, I, I want to I want to go back and look some more at that next time. Mm -hmm. Eagle Lance undetected. Trying to sneak away here. Seems to have managed it for the moment. 15 seconds to a resin win. Bonk's finally able to get this push off. Finally able it's, to cap uh, B, but it just yeah. came a little too late. And game one's going to go to resin, Zaf. Yeah, um, Bonks just lost too much in that push, especially with the, the small in there. It just didn't work out in their favor. It happens. They were doing, I, I, I saw it, but I didn't mention it at the time, right? They were doing a brilliant job. They brought in the Castilla Torps, the Brisbane Torps, and the Smallland Torps, all mm -hmm. in kind of like the approximate area that they knew that Smallland was in mm -hmm. um, because of RPF. And man, did it work out brilliantly. Absolutely. Well, congratulations to uh, to Resin for their first win. And, uh, looking good here in game one, guys. Yep. Looking good. All right. Resin up a game. Let's come back to this screen. No, let's come back to that screen while we get ready for game two. <laughs> I hit the wrong button, as usual. Fave is like yummy quad fires. I, I know. I, I I caught that on the stream. Even that was that was good. Um, resin so is funny. Resin is by the way completely barred from using Zorky from now on. They've used Zorky twice so far. Already, they, goodness yeah. gracious. Okay. They've used Petropavlovsk and Novosibirsk as well. Bonks has only used Annapolis. Okay then. Okay. A lot of super ships going away here in the early goings, Zath. I'm a little surprised by that. Because if I read the rules correctly, it wasn't like you could use them. You could use that. You got that number of charges per day. It was that's what that was the whole event. That was let me make sure I read mm -hmm. this correctly. Throughout the entire tournament, teams may only pick each individual flagship twice throughout the entire tournament. Wow. Now, why are you not surprised? Frankly, if you want to and I, I need to double check this about the about the grand final. Um, double edition, best of three, crack, crack, final, best of five, regional bracket group. Um, so what I'm trying to figure out is somebody in my chat said, hey, wait, no, if you start on the loser's bracket, you can make it into the grand final. But the confusing thing for me is on the tournament page, it doesn't show it that way. So if what I said before is accurate and you cannot make your way into the winner's bracket when you start in the loser's bracket... You don't want to start in the loser's bracket. So you're going to bring your oh. best ships to ensure that you're going to make it you, into the winner's yeah. bracket the next day. According to tournament, the grand final, which takes place not tomorrow, but the yeah, following next Sunday, yeah. is the winner of the winner's bracket versus the winner of the loser's bracket. Oh, it is the loser bracket. Okay, never mind. Mm -hmm. I didn't see the loser bracket. Okay, so you can make it back up. But you have to fight your way through mm -hmm. the entire bracket, which is a lot okay. more games. So, so I yeah, if you can avoid that, then that's what you want, right? Winning. Mm -hmm. But if you can't, then you got a long fight ahead of you. Right. So, yeah, I mean, I, I still feel like y you want to get in the winner bracket. I mean, that, that's, oh, that's sure. the easy path. Oh, yeah. So, and if you think about it, Zorky in terms of super ships uh, or, or flagships, there's, there's better options. So... You know, I'm I'm interested. Like, like, look at TSYM. I mean, you know, they've used two Condies, Annapolis once, Napoli once, for example. Yeah. So they're they're it, burning there's, through. There's definitely there's definitely I think an interesting, uh, let's say strategic, strategic discussion about when to deploy those ships and how early. Mm-hmm. Because you, I mean, maximum games over the course of the event. I, I would have to run some numbers. I, let's just say it's like 50, which is probably a little high, but let's just say that. Mm -hmm. And you only, there's only what? There's eight flagships and you only get to each use one, each of them twice. So you can only, over the entire tournament, you can mm -hmm. only have 16 games that have a flagship in it at all. Oops, I mm -hmm. mixed this up. Hold on.
You okay? So that feels. I'm good. No, no, I made I made a mistake in the overlays. I forgot to update the team overlays when we changed matches, and I've also oh. noticed another thing I've got to fix here. Hold on. Uh, no, and oh come on, where's Bonx? There we go. Okay, so now I have to go in to this button. Where is my transition table? There we go. There's a lot there involved in making this look good for y'all. We've been doing this a long time. Let's how <laughs> we were setting stuff up last night and it was kind of like, oh, yeah, we've been doing this a long time. <laughs> so we, we've done this so much that we're used to looking for the same things to fix, the same things to tweak and stuff like that. There's always a couple yep. of new things as, as it comes. But for yep. us, when, when we got that pack, we're like, all right, let's let's build it. And we sat on a call together. It took about an hour and a half for us to do that last night. Yep, yep. A few years ago, w when we're newer to all this, a lot longer. two to three. So it's taken a lot longer, yeah. You know, it, it's nice yeah. that we've got the experience. Um, I feel bad for others that had to spend that two to three um, or, or more to get everything Because I've been that right. guy, right? You and, I have have been. Been, you and I have been doing this long enough that you know, when you get one of these these streamer overlay kits from Wargaming, we've reached a point now where they're developed enough where they're almost all organized the same. And right. so it's very you and I doing this as long as we have. It's very easy to go and be like, OK, I know, I know here's the stuff that I know on my setup mm -hmm. isn't going to work and mm -hmm. needs to get changed or tweaked or fixed or whatever, as mm -hmm. opposed to. I've had a few things today, but used to we would find all kinds of stuff on day one. Oh, yeah, that didn't work. Oh, I got to fix that. Oh, I got to change that. Right. It was right. day one was always like the the debug the tournament overlay system for your setup. <laughs> well, you know, there, there's always there's always something that just doesn't work. So, you know, it is what it is. But uh, hey, everybody's still here and hanging out and enjoying the, the show so far. I hope so. Good times. Seems like it. I I heard my chat was telling me that the, the main the main warships uh, stream was back up. You were telling me earlier they had a power outage. Apparently they're streaming out of Prague, and yes, I think uh, they so. did have an outage, but they are back up now. So okay. uh, there, there go our viewers. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I know. I'm I mean, kidding. here's the thing: you get the same drops no matter who you watch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so yes. I mean, but a, you know. apparently they've got some Asus giveaways. I have no idea how they're doing that. But I saw that on their uh, their updated Warship Masters uh, article. So okay, okay. Well, there you yeah. go. <clears throat> so both teams are readying up um hmm. they had forgotten to change the map and they have now done so yep uh, i was so just noticing exciting. that i needed to change that yes our next map is going to be hotspot i'm curious so so there's two map i guess we didn't really talk about this i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna put the um i'm gonna put the map rotation up because i i want to talk about something real fast the map pool the map pool so there's a, there's a few maps in this map pool that we are not used to seeing in mm -hmm. tournament play, mm -hmm. right? The first one that I love is Riposte, right? You and mm -hmm. I have done multiple seasons of Team League, and Riposte has always been and remains, I think, their default tiebreak map in Team League. And yes, I love that map. In small formats, there is nowhere to hide. That map is tons of fun. It plays like a madhouse because how close the caps are together. It's mm -hmm. hilarious. I, mm -hmm. I can't wait to see somebody play that map. But the other one, the, the other two that really surprised me were Hotspot and Islands of Ice. We haven't seen those in, in this level of play in a long time. No, and it's good to see them again. Um, I, I've always been a fan of Hotspot. Islands of Ice, you know, the problem with Islands of Ice is every time they change it, they make it worse. We're on like version <laughs> yeah. 7 at this point. So you're on about the fourth major redesign of that map in the yeah. last eight years. Yeah. 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 I mean, Riposte is nice. When I did uh, Enterprise G, they did it so that mm -hmm. there were four different tiebreaker maps. So the team would choose game one and game two. But if it went to game three, a randomly chosen tiebreaker map Ooh, would be used. That could be Rip fun Post too. Was one. I like it. Yep. Okay. Ocean was another. And then there were a couple smaller oh, ones. I, Ocean. I can't remember. Oh my God. Yes. The map that Wargaming balanced by rotating the sun 90 degrees. So. What a bloodbath. <laughs> so, Raptor, we have a game. 
We do. Why don't we? Uh, why don't we head over? Here? I think we're using the regular overlay for this. Yeah, one. first time. Let's go. That's right. Let's go into game two here. Resin up a game as we spawn into hot spot. Zath, what's Bonk Scott cooking here in green? Well, Bonks is bringing with them a Lushun, uh, Z52, surprise, uh, Yu Yang, which is, of course, oh, it is not. It is a smoke Yu Yang Raptor. Interesting. Inter with the, see with the smoke upgrade. Yeah, with the smoke yeah. upgrade. Okay. All right. Addy, Addy drew the short straw for this game, taking the Janan. Um, we've got uh, Goliath, uh, Brisbane, and Seppuku is like, I am sick of Burgania. Give me American Battleship, please. Give We've seen him do this before. Give me a proper battleship, not that Frenchy garbage, Zath. That's exactly That's right. what this boat says. Especially right. with these piñata camos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you noticed that too, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you might as well Resin. use them. Up. Yep, Go use ahead. them up. They don't cost you nothing. All right, uh, our South Spawn, Resin, opting for Yu Yang, uh, also in a smoke configuration. In fact, I think we're going to see double Yu Yang Janan smoke shenanigans <laughs> over on the 10 line, I'm betting. Mm -hmm. um, a Holland and backed up by we've got an Henri it looks like double Henri I've got Oceans here Ocean Man Ocean and Man Peyton. Ocean mm -hmm. Man I feel like there should be a soap called that right a big soap bar commercial yeah I love it okay. um, Vi Fire in our first flagship of this particular match running an Annapolis in a build mm -hmm. that is not terribly shocking nope and um Resin opting for the single cheapest battleship in the entire point system, Zap, <laughs> and that is K-Bomb's Slava, which I find I'm a little surprised to see this ship as cheap as it is. Well, maybe that's a consideration, the fact that the uh, armor scheme on it is, is quite friendly to cruisers. Let's, let's put it that way, <laughs> and being burned yep. down. Now, something I want to point out that I think is fascinating, Zap. Have a mm -hmm. look at how Resin is deploying early. Yeah, I'm seeing it. Double Henri, Slava, and Holland to B. Makes mm -hmm. sense, but sending the Annapolis to the edge of the map where they're going to find a Brisbane and a Yu Yang, I don't think the Brisbane's going to be with us very long. Well, I think that that's a, that's a realization that they need to win that, that flank. They know they can't take the, the C cap because Z52 exists. And look, yep. there's the quick cap for Bonks. So... They know they have to win this side. They're going all in for this. In fact, Resin investing a flagship on this play, on this game. Because remember, you know, they, they want to win this. Um, they're, they're up one game. They want to make it 2-0 and be done. Yep. Now, I think, we're, are we going to see an early Brisbane radar? Mad Dog has just cropped, crossed into the Brisbane radar perimeter. Looks like the answer is no. Mm-hmm at least for the moment. Which is interesting because he is deploying smoke, and if you're that brizzy, yep. you know there's something in that smoke. There's something of value in there. But and tester, you would, you would also catch the destroyer out of it too, but they're, they're instead yep. just going to dump all the torpedoes. Tester opting to hold his fire. Going to use the ah. goose cookie smoke here. I think I get. I think I get it. They held it because they wanted to use their own smoke, but they wanted to wait until their smoke was done. Figuring if it's a, another smoke, Yu Yang, that smoke won't last too long. Little do they realize there's a Janan in there that's also got smoke. Yep, they don't know that there's a Janan in there. They don't know there's an Annapolis in there. Tester already getting turned around, backing off, maybe yep. sniffing a little of the trap that's coming. The Annapolis Hydro is running back here, so all of these torpedoes are spotted. In fact, both Annapolis and Janan. Maneuvering away. Yeah, but Big Six is going to take, take a, I think, at least... Nope, he's good. Sneaks Fire through. Fire is going to take a deep water. Annapolis does take a deep water. A little surprised at that. I think he was caught mid-engine uh, shift from forward to reverse. No exchange of fire on the other side of the map yet as K-Bomb Slava just kind of lurking in mid setting up his sniper scope, looking downrange, yep. hoping to find a shot. There's Big Six's Janan smoke for Vifire's Annapolis and himself. Yep. Now that does signal that there's another smoke ship on this flank. Yep, and more torpedoes see... coming in as well. So Tester and Cookie, if I'm them, I'm like, all right, I'm just going to say back and sure, we'll take this sea cap and hold it for forever. 
Thanks. All Four right, they they finally catch a glimpse of Tester. But that brings out the Yu Yang radar, so they now know at least I mean they knew the Yang was there, I think, anyway. Right. By fire gonna take another torpedo in the bow. Ouch. T taking a Brisbane torpedo here. As an Ohio salvo comes fishing in him, fishing him in smoke. I think they know the Annapolis is here, Zal. I think I mean Zath, I think the Z <laughs> I think the jig is up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's only there's only one reason that you would you would bring two smokes on the flank, and that's to hold a high value target, you know, or ship within. Yep. So well, I mean, it makes perfect certainly sense. Certainly the rate of certainly the rate of fire yeah. has uh signaled them to what is lurking in this smoke. More deep water's coming in now. And the and fire has no hydro. He's not gonna see these until probably I'm guessing about right maybe now. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's gonna take at least one more. Yeah, he'll take one on the belt on the side. Man. They are just brutalizing the resin flagship with torpedoes, Zath. Now that, that wrecks his engine, and he is also flooding. And DCP is down for another 13 seconds. Now, Ohio all shots coming on, in. All the way over <laughs> on the one line, we're also seeing some drama. Yeah, I was looking at it before. Um, they were about to get past the, uh, the volcano. Eagle Lance in big trouble already. Yeah, getting smashed here. His heal just expiring. He finally goes dark, but he took a big hits from both the Janan and the Goliath. Yep. He does take another fire that puts him back. Yeah, he's lit again briefly. Gets it out right away. It's interesting that got Resin split their Henri's like this. I guess they're trying to look for broadside shots with AP. Maybe. Ocean Man's Henri well spotted here on the three line. The Slava has moved up into the B cap. Only three and a half minutes on the timer. Resin's going to have to try and engineer this board position into some points in very short order. They surrendered the C cap early, never even contested it. Mm -hmm. It's taken them, what, the better part of five minutes and change to get these ships onto the one line. Now that they're there, how does that get them a win? The only thing that can happen is the push on the one, two, three line gets into the A cap. Um, have fun with that. Like that that's the only way so, they can get cap parity. There's no chance for resin to get into C to even stop the point gain. Yep. Yeah. Chat asking a, a quick question about why the why Vifires Annapolis shows up in a different color in our overlay system, and that's because it is one of the ships that is designated as a flagship. Yes. So all tournament, those ships will have special colors in the overlays and mod packs that we're using so that they are very clearly visible to everyone. Yep. Yep. This is a special casting mod that we're using for this tournament, and it also shows point values and that sort of thing. Ocean Man pulling up short, taking a double fire right there from the Goliath as Deepwater Torps come in. His Hydro is ticking. He can see them. That's why he's maneuvering the way he is. If, My chat just if, asked the same question. <laughs> yeah. If they can kill the Goliath, Zath, I feel like they still have just enough time to sneak into the ECAP. It's going to be close. Eagle Lance's Holland rotating here across the E line. Looks like he's going to try to come into the south side of the cap over here in about E4, E5. Annapolis is going in to see Peyton and over on the one line, the Henri takes a deep water tour while he's backing up. Uh, there's no way they're going to get Satori. He's behind the island well away he knows that there he's the focus target and he doesn't yep. care and so he now with 90 seconds too. with 90 seconds left on the timer the annapolis steps into c and in probably another say 10 to 12 seconds the holland will step onto a and suddenly bonks having been pushed firmly back off of both caps is going to have to make some tough choices Yep, Eagle Lance is about to get in, and there it is. Okay. There it is. So now, no point gain, at least for, for uh, the green team. Indeed. Bonks now, Bonks now held firm at 860 points, gaining no points right now. Resin capping C as now the Zed moves in to contest it. They can't see the Annapolis. They can see the Zed. That's Annapolis radar. Getting him lit right there for a bit. The yep. And now, there goes the A cap. 
Hydro is active for the um, for Todd Howard's Z52, so Annapolis is now caught on that Hydro. Who can shoot it? Well, Tester's Brizzy the can. Ohio. Well, the Ohio Salvo's already in the air, Oof. doing good work, taking about half of Vifire's remaining health there. Vifire's got to try to see if he can get out of here. The, the problem is he's going to be forced to stay in C-Cap in order to stop the point gain. Yeah, but, but he, if yeah, he dies... Yeah, it, 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 it's, it just accelerates the pain. Here comes Torpedo's Seppuku's going next in salvo. On Seppuku, he takes one. The Ohio salvo coming in. Another 10K. More good work. Another 10K disappears as Vifire's heal expires. I think, I mean, they're going to lose Vifire. It's simply a question of how long he can hold out. That's right. So Vifire just unloads because he's like, yeah, I'm probably dead. Yep. So now he's going to put on some speed and start maneuvering. Going to maybe maybe try up and get some damage into the Zed before he goes. Mm -hmm. This salvo right here ought to knock him out, and it does. Yep. So there's some points for Bonks as our first kill of the game comes over the halfway mark of the match. Right. Now, Todd Howard is going to be able to grab the C-cap uncontested again. Um, and you can see Janan is now moving into, that's Addy, he's moving into A now. Yep. So I think the big question is, can the Henri's spring something? Well, they can't spot him. The Deepwater Torps keeping Ocean Man pinned behind that island. Peyton's Henri more or less camped out here. I mean, he can't reverse in. And so now, Bonk's, I'm sorry, yeah, Bonk's sticking up positive points again. They capture C, and now they step on to A. Uh, this might be a big one. Deepwater Torpedoes coming towards Big Six's Janan. He just popped his smoke. Mad Dog spots the torpedoes. Big Six says, well, crap, I can't sit here now. And he's going to turn north into maybe one or two? He's going to take at least one oh. as he tries to... Oh, good dodge. Scrapens paint off the hull, ladies and gentlemen. Once Addy's Janan completes this cap, it's going to be seconds. There it is. 30 seconds now yep. to a Bonk's win. They've played a very, very tight game here, Zath. Absolutely. They know that they want to force a game three, so. All right. Eagle Lance steps into C literally at the exact same time that Todd's Hydro expires. expires. That buys yep. resin a little bit of time. As yep. the Yang is coming in now. They realize how alone Todd's is, Zath. I think they're going to try and pincer him and put him off the board. But they've got to get this kill in the next 40 seconds. Yep. I mean, it makes sense. Now, there's the there's the radar from, from the Brizzy saying, Stop right there, criminal. Yep. yep. Todd can now, I think, start to sense what's about to happen. All he has to do is not die in the next 25 seconds. Meanwhile, Big Six forced to turn again. Is he going to take a torpedo? <laughs> they can now see Todd, the Janan coming in, 16 seconds. I don't think they're going to be able to kill the Z-52 in time, Zap. No. They need another kill, and they're not going to get it. No, nope. Ocean Man trying push. to move forward. It's a great push here at sea, but it's going to come about 20 seconds too late as Box is going to claim game two. Yep. And I've been robbed a death pick in both of these games. Oh, I'm I know, so right? sorry. Hey, I use them for my cover picks for these matches, you know? I, I gotta have something for people to be like, Oh, I gotta click on that. And they did and they did finally sneak a kill in there on Ocean Man, by the way, right at the end after the timer had ticked over, I think. Oh, I I, I chose to go and look at the destroyer side, but yeah. I see that now. Oh well. Yeah. Wow. Solid, solid play there from Bonk, Seth. Really looking good. Yeah, I thought it was pretty interesting. Just nice, tight board control. Loved it. Mm-hmm. All right, well, game three on the horizon, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go have our first look at Islands of Ice for this event. Yay. I mean, it's a thing. 18 team. <laughs> oh, my God. How many maps have I voiced over? And then they're like, yeah, we're not going to use this one anymore. I don't know. 18 you, you, ships, you, two teams. you take that stuff so personally, Zath. It's so weird to me. <laughs> and I think it's because I've done so many of those over the years that I've just like, it's just another voiceover, man. <laughs> well, you know, you started doing them all, right? And then, yeah. Well, yeah, so. I, was the only, I, I did them all at first, right? It was, it mm -hmm. was kind of one of those things that we invented back in the day to, to cover up the transition of zoning into a game when you had to ram each other and all that kind of garbage before spectator so, mode, right? 
I, I got I gotta say, um, I'm 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 shocked, completely shocked and appalled. Take a look at the EU bracket. Oh my! It's TWA versus Rain in the winners bracket final. I'm I'm just shocked and appalled at this. Ugh. Hang on, hang on. Yep, I can smell the BS over the over the internet, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> we we are both Battlestar Galactica fans. All of this has happened before, and, and all, all of it will, it will happen, happen again. again. <laughs> all of it will happen again. That is true. Can confirms that. Although this time they've gone back to TWA instead of I don't know what whatever their their team name generator well, used before. ELSR has swept KSC in their winner's bracket match in this particular round. Zath, so uh, I guess I could put up the the TTV screen for a minute. Let me show folks some of this. Um, It looks like that needs to get uh, refreshed. So whoever wins uh, the next game that we are bringing you, whoever wins that game, will go on to face KSC. Yeah, hang on a minute. Aha. There we go. Let's refresh that. Aha! There it goes. Now it's behaving. Yay! Um, yay! But yeah, um, so yeah, the winner of this match is going to go on to face KSC. The loser will simply become the four seed, the North American four seed. So mm-hmm. we, we, they're playing today like a double elimination bracket, but it's not really double elimination, right? Mm-hmm. It's because no one's actually being eliminated. Today is basically the seeding phase. They're yep. trying to get the four teams in each region ranked one to four, and then they're going to plug those into tomorrow's bracket and go from there. Right. Oh, I should probably go back to port. <laughs> I mean, eventually that would be that would be smart, right? <laughs> well, you know how it is. You, you tab out. There's so many things to do, right? So there's a lot of... going on, and I'm and I'm keeping an eye on my stream, waiting for kind of the game to to draw to a close so that I can, you know, run a giveaway and push an ad roll and all that sort of things. I'm surprised you with all your, your fancy timers and stuff. Don't just put a timer on. Um, you know what? I probably... So here's the problem that I've had, Zath. Uh, for years, I had a button on my stream deck that would run a timer and push mm-hmm. an ad and then push an ad roll. Because there's a command, like a manual command you can type into Twitch, or there was like a a button on the stream. Stream Deck offered you a command for manually push an ad roll. Mm -hmm. Uh, But I've, but I hit a stretch that that command like quit working. Like it just didn't, it just failed. It just didn't do anything. So I don't know if maybe they fixed it. I have not tried it in a while. I might, uh, you make a good case though. Let's, uh, let's play around with it here. Um, where are you? Come to here. Play. Okay, let's do this, and we're gonna say no. That. Okay, I'll try it here in between games when I go to manually click my ad roll, and we'll see if it. I see if I can make the button work. Yeah. I'm not holding out much hope, but we'll give it a shot. Mm-hmm. What are you up to over there? You, you're engrossed in something. Yeah, so I, uh, I've i been trying to run my rerun stream on a 14-year-old mm-hmm. laptop, which I call the crap top. And uh, it just crashed on me, which is frustrating. Top. Which yeah. is very frustrating yeah, because yeah. Um, I did a check on it and I ran, I ran a stream to YouTube just to see if the streaming part would work. And it did. It streamed for 96 hours straight. So I'm like, okay, well, let's try putting the crap top on and see what happens. Crap top runs, and it crashes about, oh, I think that's about 16 hours. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to take the crap top off of that, and uh, I'm going to just put the other one back on. So I'm going to need a minute. Look at that. that. My fancy ad roll button actually worked, Zath. Hey, congratulations. That that has not happened in a very long time. I'm excited for that. All right, I'll take a, I'll work take, on that for later. I'll get a I'll get a timer set up. Here it is, Raptor. This is an Asus G73JW gaming laptop. The crap 14 top. years old. 14 years old. 14 bottom. years old. 2010. My 
my gaming laptop that I carry, hold on, it's right here. So, you remember... Yeah, I saw it. Your MSI. No, 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 you've seen it. But you remember, like, uh, I guess it's been about six years ago, right? I moved down to Ingleside because I was working in the shipyard down there. Uh -huh. um, and for a time, I was taking my entire desktop PC back and forth to the apartment. And then finally, mm. later in that year, I bought an MSI. Uh, this is a Stealth, I think... What is this, like a Stealth G83 or something? Does it tell me on the back here? Yeah, here we go. GS63 Stealth. There we go. Mm -hmm. So that's that's my baby right there with all the all the goofy stickers on it and everything, which, of course, the camera doesn't want to render it because of how I have my backdrop set up. Yeah, I think but yeah, so. she's fun. She's fun. Well, you saw this. This is this is my travel laptop that I use now. There she is. Yeah. And yeah, this yeah. is this is a um, uh, G. This is a mech. What is it? Uh, mech G2 mech 15. It's a 15 inch or okay. whatever. Um, and it's uh, from electronics. So very yeah, nice I'm, laptop. I'm, I'm starting to debate whether or not I need to get a um, a new a new one of those. The battery mm -hmm. is dead. The laptop literally will not run unless I plug it in, which after six years, I'm kind of not surprised. Um, yep. But once I do plug it in, it runs great. So I don't feel like I'm in an, like in a big rush because most of the places I use it, I'm going to sit down and plug it in anyway. So, so ironically, I don't know. we'll see where it goes. Ironically, I bought that laptop so that I can, you know, play warships while I travel, right? Mm -hmm. And then I discovered that a PC that's got um, Intel Iris graphics built into it, so not, not the, the crappy, you know, just standard, but mm -hmm. Iris XE or whatever it's called, it can run warships just fine. So okay, my then. new travel laptop is literally just a $400, 14-inch, cheapy, light thing that can last for like eight hours battery time. And okay. it's just, it, it just blows my mind. I spent so much for a gaming laptop, then COVID hit right afterwards. And then now mm -hmm. I've got this other laptop that I can take around that I spend a fraction of the price on. And it does yeah. what I need it to do. Yeah, yeah. It's hey, crazy. There you go. Anyway, I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, do your thing. I'm going to turn my fan on under the desk here. Oh, yeah. Get a little air movement. We're getting into getting into summertime here in South Texas, and even the AC can't keep up in a room with this many electronics sometimes. <clears throat> yeah, I can I can totally see that. Yep. Um, for me, you were talking about the battery dying. I'm in the same mm -hmm. boat with with the uh, with that laptop I was just talking about. My electronics. It's a three cell battery, and two of the cells have uh, have started puffing up to the point where my touchpad was actually sticking up. <laughs> so I took it apart. I looked at it. I'm like, you know what? It's probably not safe to have this in the laptop anymore. So I took it out. Um, so there's no battery on it. But what I've done is I've actually connected it to my my UPS, my battery backup, so that if uh, yeah. power goes out, at least, you know, I'm not screwed. Right. All right. So I got good news, Zath. Everyone is in the room and ready. I cool. think we're going to be dropping in the next 60 seconds or so our... Our ref is hitting the head, and then I'm betting by the time he's back, this game will be ready to drop. Perfect. That's my expectation, anyway. That yeah, will work. Yep, yep. We should be on our way shortly. Nope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Cool. All right. Always fun when we have that little extra gap in time. That worked out well for me. Yep. That was nice. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, why is that showing? Okay, hold on a minute. I've got a mistake, clearly. <laughs> Dummy. Let me go fix this thing, because we are not doing best of fives today. No. Not today, Buana. Not today. There we go. That's where we're... No. That. There we go. Nailed it. Oh, Hotspot is not our next map. We are on to Islands of Ice. Man, I'm just all over the... <laughs> Not hitting enough update buttons, Zath. Not hitting enough update buttons. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Well, teams are here. Teams are ready. I suspect we'll be underway momentarily. And then I after this, we're going back to the going back to the Chinese bracket, Zath. That'll be entertaining, right? Um, Let's see. After this, I thought we we're going to do the European one. 
Oh no, you're right. It's the EU bracket. We're going. We're going yeah. to the EU. Uh, that EU losers bracket. I think was what we signed up for. Is that right? Yeah. That losers of correct. one and winners of the other. I can't remember exactly. But Which we'll is find going out. to be Rain and them when the time comes. That will be our next match. Yes, Rain them after Shaft them. After Shaft them, will we Rain them? <laughs> I mean, you know, we don't come up with the names, y'all. Yeah, that's right. And we don't. We didn't. Least, we didn't make this crap up, guys. And at least for this tournament, they're appropriate. <laughs> so. As opposed to what your your enterprise tournament, they were not appropriate. Well, we had one team named Tits. <laughs> of course, you did. We because, had another named because, Ass. Because gamers are twelve. All right, let's get into this game, shall so we? So imagine Zach? that lineup. <laughs> yeah, it didn't happen. I, know, right? I was hoping it would, but yeah. it did not. Yeah. All right, we need the reverse <laughs> spawn as we head here into Islands of Ice. Let's do this. All right, welcome to game three of Resin and Bonks, ladies and gentlemen. Resin looking solid in game one, but Bonks coming back, storming back in game two. As we come to Islands of Ice for the rubber game of the series, yep. let's talk about team lineup. Seth, what's Resin cooking here in green? Resin bringing our first Vermont of the tournament. So excited to see that. That's a uh, flagship, and Peyton's in that one. And uh, in front of him is Ocean Man in the Brisbane. Uh, and we've got Big Six in the Janan, Goliath, uh, that's Hungria, 15. Big Boy's in a Grozovoy now. Eagle Lance in a Lushun, and Mad Dog in another Lushun. Interesting, they have different commander builds. I'm kind of surprised to see Mad Dog not taking the commander that has the boosted survivability expert. I mean, why wouldn't you? Eagle Lance certainly did. Interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, fresh off their win in game two with the bottom end of the map in red. Bonks fielding a battleship of their own. That's Kermit's Cristoforo Colombo. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got a guy who's Brisbane. Uh, Tester's not moving. I wonder if we're going to see a restart here. Let's see. Um, Double Destroyer, Z42, not Z52. This is the one with the smaller guns. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Yu Yang. This is a not a radar Yang. That is a smoke Yang. Backed up by Addy's Janan. Mm -hmm. Full torpedo build on this particular Janan. Uh, Chukwama's defense and Satori's Goliath headed over here towards C. And then, of course, all the way in the back, Tester's Brisbane. And I guess Tester is slow to load in or whatever. There he goes. He's finally off the mark as well. Well, you know, they might have had a really good spawn for them. As a matter of fact, with the way the both destroyers it, are going... It, I yeah, it looks that way. It looks like they said, you know, the Brisbane's going to be a little slow, but don't restart it because if we restart it, he might spawn on the other end. Right. That kind of thing. Exactly. Exactly. Well, early <laughs> Z42 position over here along this island. In fact, he's lit on the surface very briefly. Mad Dog catching he and the Lushun now catching glimpses of each other. Let's take a look at this engagement. Brisbane shells falling in from Ocean Man. I want to just shout that name every time it comes up, Zap. <laughs> Ocean Man. Whole, whole bunch of Yu Yang Torps going up there into the gap where Ocean Man's smoke is going to be, or already is, I should say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're trying to get hydro. some more damage. Trying to get some more damage downrange on Nagato's Z42, but it doesn't look like they're going to get there as the radar is expiring. Maybe a little more chip damage with that salvo. Yeah, but nothing exciting. Nothing catastrophic. Mm -hmm. All the torpedoes coming in now. Look at all these torpedoes. Ocean Man's going to take two. No, one. One deep water torp landing on the Brisbane as even more shells. Oh, now it's the Lushun Hydro that mm -hmm. has Nagato locked up here as Eagle Lance's Lushun also making him pay for this position. Yep. Mad Feels Dog, like Nagato though. maybe a bit overextended. Mad Dog taking some punishment as well. Yep. Both teams just trading blows hard. Yeah, just body blowing the the this uh, this the understanding the critical importance of this island position to the A cap. But right now it's Resin who's coming out well in the lead in yep. this department. Addy's Janan is going to take at least one of these. Is he going to con his way through it? One in the bow. Better than the two that were going for his midsection at one point. Yep, As there's there first go. blood. 
Nagato going out there. Yeah, if you look at this island, the south side is at a distinct disadvantage because of that town. They got flatter yeah. land pushes you farther the away. There's terrain. less cover. Yep, the flatter terrain allows more shells to fall in on the south side than can squeak in on the north side. Mm-hmm. Big Vermont Salvo hunting Ocean Man's Brizzy. Does he land any of it? He does not. Sorry, Colombo Salvo. My apologies. More torpedoes coming into Eddie's Junon spot, and uh, I don't know. This might hurt a lot. Well, the Hydro can spot available. them. He has. To, I mean, he can see them coming. Nah, he's got this. Check it out. Convenience he's fine. gap. Yep. Nice little gap there. The Hydro picking him up. Now, the Hydro has expired. Or is about to expire. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mad Dog's going to back into A and get the easy cap. That Colombo dispersion really trolling Kermit there. Had a decent shot on Peyton's Vermont. Doesn't get much out of it. Most of those shells going long. Vermont, on the other hand, punching Ooh. defense for 30k <laughs> right in the face like he doesn't care. Yeah, well, brick smash. I mean, if you bring a brick, Zath, you can only do one thing with it, and that is smash. That's literally mm -hmm. all it's capable of. Mm-hmm. There we go. Turn a little bit of that music on. Finally, I keep forgetting to do that. But uh, I'll tell Speaking you. Speaking of know. smash, go. Oh. <laughs> oh, we finally get Addy in the smoke. Addy's been playing with fire back there. Yep, yep. Is that what you were fixing to say? No, I was actually pointing out that the that Eagle Lance's Lushun getting into a bit of a gunfight with Satori's Goliath over on the nine line. But the Goliath got one really good solid salvo into him for about a quarter of his HP. And he was like, oh, yeah, no, I think I think I'll stop this now. <laughs> but for Fair the enough. moment, for the moment, resin up two ships, desk bonks trying to cap a looks like they're going to be able to pull it off. Maybe mm, they're going to pay a lot for this radar is up from I think that was Ocean Man. Oh, Tester's half yep. of Tester's HP disappears out of that Vermont volley. Yep, and Septic has been are, getting smacked too. I think they're going to get Mad Dog here, Zath. They're trying mm -hmm. to murder Mad Dog, and I think they're going to get him eventually. The Brisbane is just too close. And there, they, yeah, there he goes. A big kill for Bonks, points they desperately need, but man, Sapuku's giving up a ton of health here. Yeah, and I think the biggest problem for him is once he gets detected. He's going to give up the rest of his health, and he is currently burning. Well, you say he is detected. I mean, the Brisbane can spot him. The Grozovoy's spotting for the Brisbane in the smoke there. Mm-hmm. Now, notice Ocean Man in his Brisbane. He runs double rudder. He used to do this all the time in the Minotaur as well. Double rudder with range and just dare people to shoot him. And you can see the importance of that double rudder with that Savo. He just turned and dodged almost all of those shells like it was nothing. Yep. Ocean Man strikes again. Back to a two-ship lead again for Resin here in decide this decisive game three. They look really mm -hmm. good, like they're like they're gonna. They really want that chance to go square off against ELSR in the winner's game. Uh huh. And Cookie might no, he'll be. I think no, he's okay. fine. Well, okay, he's <laughs> see what down. I mean. I was like, <laughs> yeah, for a minute there, it looked like well. No, he slowed down. Okay. <laughs> As casters, you know, a lot of times we'll call something that's going to happen, and it's almost like the player is listening to us at that exact moment. Yeah. It's like, no, we're not doing this. <laughs> Some, sometimes we're able to all see the same things at approximately the same time, Zach. And mm -hmm. that, then that produces occasionally hilarious results. Only four ships left on the board for Bonks. They're going to have to try and... and dig in and defend these caps if they want to if they want to win this series i'm not sure they can payton gets his stern turrets off at the defense and <laughs> casually shaves off another twenty thousand hit points yep i get the feeling resin was like oh yeah that's right they took a goli or de uh, defense before uh, what can right, counter they took that a defense hmm. what what could possibly oh wait i have just the thing for this right I have just the thing for this instance, Your Grace. 
Resin pushing back into A, bringing big boys Graz and Ocean Man's Brisbane. Spotting their opposing Brisbane. That's Tester on the surface, putting up some smoke. Brisbane says, LOL, fine. Smoke all you want. Here, have some radar. Yeah, I feel like that's a little aggressive for right now, but okay. Um, It is fairly aggressive, Zath, but I like the play. Right. Mm. If you're if resin right now is in is up two ships, they're up 150 points. In my mind, you absolutely want to keep on the pressure. Mm -hmm. The question is, is he going to make is he going to make this play or is it going to cost him his ship? He's finally mm. he was dark in there. He drifted out of the smoke. He accelerates back into it. And there he goes, breaking the LOS again. Mm -hmm. So that's going to mm. allow them to, to counter cap a. Attempts with AP on the Brisbane didn't work. Ocean Man puts up his radar, careful, uh, blessedly ensconced in Grozovoy smoke. Going to see if they can pick up this kill on Cookie's Yu Yang here. Eagle Lance's Lushun pitching in as well as the Vermont finally just says, be gone to yep. Chukwama's defense. Brick is not fast, Zath, but Brick is hard to kill, and Brick hits hard. Yes, and Brick owns the middle. <laughs> At the moment, <laughs> so... Peyton's Brick owns the middle. Well, we have some Goliath on Goliath action on the 10 line, but, I mean, at this point, this is all but over. Pretty much all but over. Most of the important stuff still happening back at A. The Vermont has moved in for support. Four resin ships in or immediately adjacent to the A cap means there's no way back into this cap for bonks now. Yep. Tester getting spotted. I'm waiting for the Vermont salvo. There it is. There's the stern guns. There's the bow guns. Does Tester survive? He does, barely. Yes. <laughs> he survives ish. He gets to a heal. I feel like, Zach, this is one of the best. Um, I feel like this is one of the best played Lushun games we've seen yet from Eagle Lance. Right? Oh, I agree. He's, he's not afraid to use the guns, but he also seems to be doing a better job versus some of the other Lushuns we've seen to this point in the event of holding, of knowing when to hold his fire, go dark, and let one of his big fancy heals just mm -hmm. slowly bring him back up. Yep, and knowing when to heal. As Peyton says, keep when healing, heal. I'm reloading. Yeah, <laughs> keep healing, I'm reloading as the te as Tester goes down and seals the deal 10 seconds here to a resin win in game three. Well played, Yay, I have teams, a death resin. Resin is going to claim this game. They're going to move on to face ELSR for the possible top spot in the NA bracket. Resin can now do no worse than the number two spot in the NA bracket as Ocean Man mm -hmm. is going to die right here at the very end of the game. <laughs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> he did that last game, too. <laughs> he did do that last game. He did do that last game. I just love saying Ocean Man. It's just something yep. about that. I can't I can't stop. I want to just I just I can't. You know what his name was before, right? I don't actually. Jake from State Farm. Was th that's Jake? I didn't know that's that. That's Jake. That's Jake. That's yeah. awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> that well, is congratulations awesome. to Resin for that win. Solid. Well played.